Hey, Anthony here with another lesson from the Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory series. In this video, I'll cover Unit 6, Lesson 24. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a new video. There is an index with links in the description so you can easily find the lessons you need. I highly recommend that you own a copy of this book and you're only watching this video to check your work, review, or because you got really stuck on something. Okay, let's get right into it. Today we are talking about naturals, okay? A natural sign, boom, looks like that, before a note cancels a previous sharp or flat. On the, on the keyboard, a note after a natural is always a white key, right? So black keys are never considered natural. Okay, when speaking of natural notes, the word natural comes after the letter name, as in B natural. However, in written music, the natural sign comes before the note, right? This is a common thing that people do. They think B natural, so they write the B, and then they put the natural after the B, but it comes before the B. To draw a natural sign, first draw the left half. So it's like you make an L, and then you make an upside down L, okay? So it's like, I don't know if you've ever done this with your hands, right? It's kind of like that. Um, when a natural sign is attached to a line, uh, so sorry, when, when a natural sign is attached to a line note, the natural is centered on the line, okay? So boom, just go like that. It's right to the left of the note and center it on the line. Right, and when it's on a space, center it on the space, simple enough. Right, you wouldn't want to like put the natural way up here, you know, above the note. It's got to go right to the left of it on the very same space that the note occupies. Okay, last one. Okay, when a flat, sharp, or natural sign, sorry, when flat, sharp, or natural signs appear within a single, within it, and start that whole sentence over. When a flat, sharp, or natural sign, wow. When flat, sharp, or natural signs appear within a musical piece, they are called accidentals. An accidental sign affects the notes written on the same line or space following it for that measure only, right? So sharps, flats, and naturals are only good for one measure, right? So this F sharp, boom, also makes this sharp F, right? And this A flat also makes this A flat, right? But if you had an F in this measure, it would no longer be sharp because th this sharp only counts for this measure, these flats only count for that measure, right? So for so why that's important is because here, right, you have E flat, that would also be an E flat, but then if you wanted the pitch to go down, you would need to, to indicate that it was natural, right? You, you, you couldn't just put a, a, an E without a flat and expect someone to know that that was natural. You have to indicate, it's like, okay, it's no longer flat. Um, and same here, F sharp, boom, goes to F natural, drops down to E, and then back up to F natural, right? So if you wanted that sharp, you'd have to indicate sharp again because this natural cancels it out. Boom, let's flip it over. Okay, a bar line cancels all accidentals in the previous measure, except if a note is tied across the bar line, okay? Um, looks like it so I already actually mentioned that in in the previous setting I was jumping ahead a little bit so yeah basically what that says here is like C and then you've got a C sharp up to a D right and then boom this uh, bo this bar drops here and now it starts over and that's gonna be a C natural again so accidentals are only good for one measure uh, it's like a I don't know like a coupon that expires or an effect that wears off at the end of turn if you're like like a gamer. Uh, so here we go. We have A, A up to a B flat, right? This tie keeps it a B flat, right? And then we go back to a B natural, right? So that's the one situation where a bar line doesn't cancel 
uh, an accidental is when it's tied. All right, exercises. In the example, write natural signs before each note, then name the notes. Okay, so boom, let's just go ahead and put our accidentals in first. And as I always say, they don't have to be perfect. Just have to be able to tell what they are. And then go ahead and name all of these notes. Uh, all cows eat grass. That's going to be your E. Grandma buys dresses for all. So that's going to be your B. And one, one thing that's different about um, note naturals versus sharps and flats is you don't have to write natural. right? If there's no indication of sharp or flat, it's assumed natural. So, you know, whereas with E flat, you'd have to put a flat there. Or with, if it was like B sharp, you'd have to put a sharp there for people to know what you were talking about. But with naturals, you don't need to write the natural if you're just writing the note name out. Uh, G, grandma buys dresses for all. It's another G. G, grandma buys dresses. That's a D. Grandma buys dresses for all. That's an A. All cows are C. F and A. Okay. Uh, write the names of the notes on the lines below the staff. So this is just kind of like practice figuring out, you know, when things cancel out and if things last over the bar line or not. Okay. So let's start and we're in treble clef C, B. That's going to be A sharp back up to a B, right? Accidentals last for the whole measure unless canceled. So that's still, oh yeah, I forgot to write sharp. So that's still going to be an A sharp, but boom, this natural cancels it out. So it's just A again. Uh, then we have A flat, G, F sharp, G, A, A flat, G, a flat again, because remember, they last for the whole measure unless canceled. G, F sharp. Now this is just an F, right? Because the bar line cancels that sharp. E, D sharp, and then finish with an E. And there you have it. Um, that is Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, Unit 6. Lesson 24, thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Click the links to watch the next lesson or jump ahead to the Unit 6 review. Thanks much.